Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Look at the kids. Don't mind my couch. Don't mind my couch. Okay, because my couch. I just got done washing, so I'm trying to fold up clothes and do all that. But we back, 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 we back. Okay, but anyways, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe until your uncle, cousin, Amy, step cousin, twice removed, third move to make sure they like this video. See this video, watch it all the way through. And comment down below to let me know what y'all think. What y'all want to see, what y'all don't want to see. Blase, blase. Yeah. Can't post content if I don't know what y'all like and what y'all don't like. But but yeah, anyways. So, we got Zayden and PT. They just got back from daycare. So, Zayden got a PT. Um... And I'm gonna put that clip right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
powder. So I told her I'm gonna just give them, just let Zuri and them wear them. I, she told me to try to go a size up. Maybe I need to get a three instead of a two, I don't know. What, um, can you, where do you feel his top? It's like, it's probably like in the middle right here. Cause he curled them up, so it's probably like right here. So I'm about to get them ready for bed and then I'm going to show y'all what they wear, what they pajamas looking like and I'm going to show y'all them in the bed. So I'm about to do that for a little bit. I'm about to, um, yeah, because they already played like for an hour or two. So yeah, normally when we come home, I feed them, I let them play and sometimes we do um, physical therapy. So we already did physical therapy. They ate before they got here. They ate at the daycare. So yeah. So I'm about to put their pajamas on. So I'll be back once they got their pajamas on. And um, PSA. I know a lot of people been asking me where my kid's father at, and yeah, where's he at, and yeah. So when I put them to bed, I'm gonna explain that and get y'all a little rundown for the rundown and let y'all know how I went and let y'all know y'all don't need to be putting up with anything. But yeah, so let's go change them and put their pajamas on. Be right back. Okay, this is Zaria in her pajamas, y'all. Like I said, I'm on the couch. I'm folding clothes. I wash clothes on weekends, so I be folding clothes. So this is Zaria. Say hey, girl. Look at her Mickey Mouse pajamas. They are in 12 months, but 12 months is a little big on them. But yeah. <laughs> so we're about to go ahead and lay her down. Yes, this. What's this? 
So yeah, let me go ahead and do the next baby. No. Okay, look at Zoe. You know they got the same pajamas on. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Yeah, she know how to say stop. It's not exact quite like stop, but you can kind of hear. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'm about to lay her down with her sister. So let's go. So let's go lay her down with her sister. Let's see if Zara is standing up. Come on, open. push the door. Yay, yay. Come on. And we lay down with the girls, with the girls, with the girls, with the girls. Okay, y'all, this is Zayden. But y'all look, his face. Y'all see that red stuff? The daycare lady said they went outside to go play. They was playing by themselves. And he went to sleep. And when he went to sleep, it started getting red like that. And it his whole face. Whole side right here was swollen. But he got bruises like right here. And it's like right here. You see? Right here. And right here. Y'all see that? I'm trying to hold him. Y'all see that? Real good. So, I don't know. Uh, shut up. Jesus Christ. All this crying. Jesus Christ. Focus. Focus. Okay. It's kind of focusing. Okay. There it goes. It's focused. So, I don't know if he got bit by something. Y'all see this? Or it's a larger reaction or something. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know what it could be. Like, I don't know. Y'all see that? I don't know what it could be, y'all. She don't know either. She said what she said, what I just told y'all. So, she said he didn't fall. She said he didn't do nothing. But he just woke up like that and his face was swollen. So, I don't know if something bit him or he's allergic to something. He's allergic to like food, he got a cow allergy, stuff like that, but it's nothing like wool and nothing like that. So I don't know. But yeah, he got on his pajamas. <laughs> Let's take him and lay down. Let's take him and lay down. Let's take him. He always want to be under me. Come on, open the door. Come on, open the door. Open the door. Lay them down. So good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See Zayden already. He Zayden know how to Zayden know how to come in the bed and lay down. It's these girls. It's these girls that's gonna be hollering. Oh, let me not close it. Let me hear it. But yeah, so I'm kind of scared about that. So I don't know what could have happened. Hopefully, nothing too serious. It did. The swelling did go down. He's not, you know, gasping for air or nothing like that, but I'm holding the camera because my tripod just broke. It just broke. So, yeah, I got to give me another tripod, but long story short. I know you lying. Somebody calling me. Hold on. Oh, my mama. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back with mama calling. Okay. I'm back, but not now, but, but not nobody coming again. Okay, so, yeah. So, um, what happened to him, I left him. Like, the kids were five months, and I left him. I left him because, first of all, what, what got me is you're not the inconsiderate. I'm pregnant with triplets. And I'm going through all these emotions. I'm in pain 24 seven. And it's like, he didn't care. Like he might've cared, but he didn't make that known that he give, he cared. Like he went to doctor's appointments. Okay, cool. But 
he didn't emotionally make it seem like he cared. Like, he told me I was over-exaggerating. Like, he told me I was over-exaggerating. Like, he didn't think I was, like, in pain. Like, he didn't think I was sick. Like, I went, I started working. When I started working, I had just found out I was pregnant. So, I think in June, July, I think June, July, something like that, I found out I was pregnant. Four weeks pregnant, I went to work and I told them I was pregnant. When I went to... When I went to go get my six week checkup to do the little ultrasound thing, I start feeling I start feeling bad. Like I went to work feeling bad, about to pass out, drained, sleepy. Even the trainer lady always brought me like ginger tea and stuff like that because she knew like I was sick. Like you can see I was sick. You can see it in my face. Like, they was sucking the life out of me. So, that was the real kicker. Like, not consider of my feelings, emotion, my pain, what I'm going. You know, he's. I feel like he wasn't considerate of that. The second thing is, I looked through the something in the back of my head. That little voice. His phone. Okay, we was in the car. We was moving. His phone went off. And I'm like, why his phone keep going off? So he flipped his phone face forward. So his phone was like this. The face was like this on the on the um in the car seat. So his phone was going off. I'm like, why his phone keep going off? So I had to call and I looked looked in his phone. It was a girl. He was been texting his girl. They calling each other bae, all this crazy stuff. And I'm like what i'm pregnant and you sitting up here you know talking to somebody else that was the crazy part and i confronted him and he told me he don't know what i'm talking about he was making it seem like i'm tripping and he opened the phone and at the bottom it was resetting like it was updating all his mess not updating but it was um saving all his iCloud his iCloud messages was all saving and stuff i think he what I think he did was reset his phone because when he showed me the phone, the messages, all the girl messages had deleted. And he was like, what are you talking about? I haven't been talking to this girl. You know, but I seen the day. The day was like April the 20th something, 2019. Like I was looking at the days. You could tell iPhone, you could see the day, the time and all that when they was talking to each other. So I seen all of that. And for him to reset his phone and made it seem like I was crazy, that was another strike three. That was another strike three. And I'm talking and the girl calling me telling me they not talking when I'm when I am the one who was reading the messages. That was a strike two for me. No go. We not playing that game. I don't know who he thought he was playing with, but we not doing that over here. I'm not, uh uh. Uh uh. Nope. So the third thing was was the killer part was not the killer part, all of it was just crazy to me. Like, the fact that I'm going through all this was just crazy to me. I felt like I was in a damn dream, really. But, um, okay, so, you know, we got home. When I was in the hospital anyway, I was thinking about not even coming back to Houston, first of all, because I'm not going to sit up here. I'm sorry if it's, I'm sorry if I got a glare. Let me turn this away. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you, you know, what to do and what not to do and, you know, clean up. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you to do none of that. Because, first of all, I'm not your mama. And, yeah, I'm not doing none of that. I'm not. I felt like I was the mother, not the girlfriend. You know, I felt like I was a mother. Like, you know how you tell your kids, clean up this, do this, do that, do this, do that. I was like, oh, no. I felt like I was the mother instead of the girlfriend. And I felt like I wasn't appreciated. That's what it was. And I felt like his kids was not important. Like, he didn't give a fuck. Sorry if I'm cussing. If kids are watching, I'm sorry. You know, don't watch this. <laughs> but I felt like he didn't care. Like, he didn't care about his kids or none of that. Because he didn't care. But, yeah. Okay, so the third thing was, you know, I like I said, I wasn't already coming. To, I wasn't planning on going back to his apartment i wanted to move to houston because you know 
I felt like he wasn't doing the necessary steps that he needed to do, you know, as being a father. And he didn't give a fuck. But I end up, I'm sorry my nose running. I end up, you know, letting him talk me into it. I'm thinking, okay, we could be a family with the crazy shit, you know. So I moved back. And, you know, it was cool in the beginning. I was emotionally tired because he go to work at night. He go to work at night, so I'm up with the babies, you know, going through the postpartum shit. The postpartum stuff. I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to not cuss. It's hard. But um, going through the postpartum stuff, and I got to, you know, get up every three hours, feed kids, change diapers. I don't get no sleep. You know, when he come in from work, he let me sleep. A little bit, but I was sometime he'll come in and the kids was crying and I'm drained and I'm sleep. And he talking about well you just letting the kids cry, you know, you letting the kids cry that I'm like, really? I'm drained. Like when you come in from work and you hear the kids feed them, change the diaper. If I'm sleep, you know I'm tired. Like I'm confused. But yeah. And then when, when I was sleeping, he'll watch the kids, he'll fall asleep. And at that time, in the beginning, it was, you know, if they're up, don't fall asleep. Zayden was having problems with, I don't know, he'll eat and he'll, he would eat and he would seem like he's choking and he would gag and throw up and stuff like that. So... Sometime in my sleep, I will hear him make that little noise because I know how that noise is. And I have to wait. They fall and be like, get Zayden, get Zayden. He's choking, he's choking. Because I can hear it. Like, when I was pregnant, I was a real life sleeper because I knew, I knew the kid's situation. So I didn't want him to choke under his supervision, you know? So... Sometimes I would hear Zayden make that little, you know, ghastly noise. And I would have to be like, hey, get up. You know, hey, get up. He choking, he choking. Get him, get him, get him. Because he was in the living room. I was in the room. I'm like, get him, get him, get him. Turn, turn him on his stomach. Turn him on his stomach. Get him. And stuff like that. I would have to do that. So I really didn't get no sleep. I got a, He let me get a little bit of sleep. But it was just hard for me to get a sleep. And then he was complaining about... He was complaining about I don't never let him sleep and um, I'm always waking him up and stuff like that. And he was complaining about he wouldn't get no sleep. I'm like, hell, I ain't getting no sleep either. What are you saying? Okay, it's you got three kids now. It's no need to go to sleep. It was just little stuff was just irritating me. It was just irritating me. Like, uh-uh, I'm like getting turned off because you're complaining about not sleeping i'm asking for help you don't want to help you don't want to do this i end up getting a job i end up getting a job i got a job for probably a week they fired me i think well they never initially told me i was fired but me not going into work i'm fired um, because at the time the kids was going to a lot of daycare, I mean daycare, a lot of doctor's appointments and jobs didn't understand that. So they fired me. But yeah, I started working in the beginning. He was watching them. He was watching them. Well, I, I told his mama to come help him watch them because I really didn't trust him watching my kids because they had a whole lot of problems. And I didn't want, you know, nothing to happen, basically. So... He used to watch the kids as I go to work. And it was just, after a while, he just didn't care. He stopped coming home. He stopped coming home. I used to ask him to help. He used to walk out the house, stop coming home, you know, stuff like that. He used to complain about, we used to argue too much, but we used to argue because you're not helping. See, if you help, you st we stop arguing. But he said, even if he helped, we still argue, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah. We used to argue a lot. He didn't want to help. He wanted to do what he wanted to do on his time. Yeah. He, he used to go to doctor's appointments. Yeah, okay. But that's cool or whatever. But actually, hands-on helping is what I really needed. And he didn't want to do that. And his people used to make excuses for him. Make excuses for him. He's spoiled. He did 
uh, I'm not dealing. I don't want to be with a child. I want to be with a man. So if he's that spoiled, he can, you know, y'all can take care of him. And y'all can do what y'all need to do for him because I, no, I, I need a man, not a little boy. So I left him. And that's just that on that. Mm -mm. I'm not, no. And yeah, so I left him, came to Houston, um, stayed with my mama for a little bit. And then I ended up getting an apartment. I used to ask him for help with the kids and sending me money. Um, he sent me money like two times, $75 like two times. And then I asked him for more and he told me either I get that or he started sending me stuff from Walmart. Again, he only sent me stuff from Walmart one time. So I was just trying to figure out like, so yeah, that was the thing. And then I kept telling him I'm, I'm putting him on child support. I guess he never believed me until he actually got the papers. So I put him on child support and then he started helping. He been sending me like money every week, a hundred. He sent me 300, you know, stuff like that. But I feel like you're putting yourself in more debt when you just could have helped from the beginning. So you really messed yourself up for me putting you on child support when you just could have did and make, I mean, you could have did the stuff in the beginning but you didn't want to do it because I felt like he was stuck on me to be honest he was worrying about what I was doing with the money he was worrying about stuff like that like the money is not for you it's for the kids or he was worrying about stuff I was doing with the money and it's like you don't need to worry about me this is not about me this is about your kids get off of me get off of me it doesn't matter what I do with the money your kids are taken care of. They got food in their mouth. They got clothes on their back. They got toys. They got a bed to sleep in. It doesn't matter what I do with the money. I don't, and I had to explain to him, I don't need your money. Like that little chump chain, $75, like they can't even pay my cable bill. They can pay some of it, but why would I want some of the money? Then I got a, what, like, what? No, I don't need your money. I don't need to live off of you. What? Come on now. Like, that's what I wasn't, like, understanding. Like, why are you so worried about me? Why are you so, like, after a while, he just stops. I guess his brother talking some sense to him because he was tripping. Like, telling me he was going to come to my house and, you know, shit like that. Or, I mean, stuff like that. He was telling me that he was sending me money and he been sending me money and I even show him the bank statements of my bank statements because we were sending money through cash apps. He sent money two times. Okay. And I even show him my cash app bank statements and he told me I was lying. And he was like, well, maybe it's with Apple Pay. And I show him my Apple Pay statements and he was like, well, I have to look at my other phone because it might be in my other phone. And I'm like, okay, well, when you show me proof, then yeah. And yeah. He was just delusional. I'm like, dude, what is this? What is wrong? Like, what is mentally wrong? And I never seen, I never seen, I probably did see he was mentally, like his, his mind was off. I probably did see it, but I really probably ignored it. But yeah, like he just started tripping. I don't remember ever like noticing stuff like that. People used to tell me that all the time, but like, I just really like, brush it off <laughs> i used to just brush it off like nah he gonna get it together nah he gonna do it he said he gonna do it stuff like that and yeah after a while i'm like no nah, he be tripping he a little he a little something ain't going on in there so yeah so now i put him on child support you know he talks to the kids on zoom he talks to the kids Zoom, and yeah, he sent me money, but yeah, we really not cool. I don't like him. I just deal with him because we got kids, but my glasses are dirty, but I don't, yeah, I don't like him. Yeah, no. After that, it's like a killer. Yeah. Yeah. After this line, when you lie to me and like say you did something and didn't do it and hallucinate and lie and like do crazy stuff like that, I'm not, yeah. Yeah, I'm not dealing with it. He even told me I've been telling people that he he was hitting me. Yeah, I was video when on fake on YouTube, I was recording every day. 
Did I look like I was getting hit? Did I have bruises on my face? What in the world? He was telling people that, he was telling me that I was telling people he was hitting on me. Like, what? That ain't even in my character, y'all. I don't even go around and be like, he hit me, he did this. I don't even be lying like that. I have no reason to lie. Like, I am mature, real mature. Sometimes I can get petty when I need to get petty, but that's, lying like that, that's a whole different level of petty, and I ain't that petty. I'm petty, but I ain't that petty, you know? So I don't even lie like that. I don't even play about no stuff like that because domestic violence is real. I don't play about nothing like that. My sister went through domestic violence and I don't play and I don't lie and play about nothing like that because I know it's real. So yeah. Uh, and he just made it seem like to his people like I was the one tripping and I was doing this and his people was just taking up for him. And I'm like, man, y'all can have this boy because I ain't putting up with it. I ain't putting up. So yeah, that's the story. We talk, but we don't talk. And I had to make it clear to him, like, a probably, like, a couple of months ago, like, we're not friends. I talk to you because we have kids, but we're not friends. We're not cool. Like, we're cool because we have, I mean, we, we not cool, cool, but we cool because we got kids. I communicate with you and I talk to you because we have kids. And you're sending me money to help with your kids. See, if you wasn't sending me money, what... Uh, sending me money to help with your kids and help you know pay stuff because these kids are expensive i have three one-year-olds so just imagine diapers wipes clothes they are always sick uh what else food juices stuff like that i have food stamps i have wick but sometimes that stuff don't be like we don't be covering everything food stamps okay don't be covering everything so and Zayden has a cow allergy, so his stuff is expensive because a lot of stuff that a lot of stuff that um the girls eat, he cannot eat a lot of food, like a lot of food. So I have to try to make vegan stuff or try to find me try to find him something to eat because he cannot eat a lot of stuff. So that can be expensive, you know. So I just ask for help because. Yeah, he, he's he's helping a little bit. You know, $100, it can only go so far. And daycare is $300 a week, so you do the math. I'm paying for a daycare. I'm doing a lot of stuff. I feel like by myself, because that $100, I mean, it's money, but, you know. You know, yeah. So I put him on child support because I need something consistent. And, yeah. So that's what happened. We're not cool. You will never see him on my YouTube I will never be sitting in a room with him unless he's here to see my kids. And yeah, the first time he came to see my kids was, the last time he came to see the kids was Christmas. Christmas. And the first time he came to see, when I moved to Houston, the first time he came to see the kids was like when it was five months. Probably like five, no, that was probably like seven, eight months, something like that. That was probably seven eight months something like that they were still little and then yeah he haven't came back his first and then his second time seeing him was when they won so yeah he really don't come around that much he claims he had he works a lot so yeah i told him before i left um his house because i mean it wasn't my house it was in our name but i had already signed my name off that lease and left Gave him that slip and left and gone by my business. I turned off. I took my name off that lease. I turned off my lights. And I turned off my cable because, nah, buddy. He already told me we should have stayed in Houston. So, you don't want us here, we're going to leave. And that's just that on that. And he listening to his family. So, I don't like that. I don't like no drama. I don't like that because one thing about it these kids didn't ask to be here at all so yeah you're not gonna do them any kind of way you're not gonna treat them any kind of way you're not gonna be a father when you want to be a father but yeah off subject <laughs> off subject but i forgot what i was talking about yeah but you'll never see him um i really don't talk about him because i don't know yeah we'll never be in a room together unless we see unless you know be with the kids and that's about it yeah that's really what happened 
Yeah, you know, men don't understand when women have a baby, they go through hormones. They cry a lot. They're in pain. They're hurting, you know, they're just going through a lot and men think, oh, they're tripping, oh, they're over-exaggerating, you know, stuff like that. And it's like, yeah. And then when the baby come, here come the responsibility. And men wanna do what the men wanna do what the heck they wanna do. They don't wanna help. Some men, let me let me say that clear. Some men don't wanna do what they supposed to do. They wanna do what they wanna do. They want to feel like it's a woman's job. That's what they was. That's what him and his cousin sat down was like. Oh, he works, and you're just sitting at the house. Um, made it seem like it's a woman's thing to. Um, you should clean because he's at work making the money, or you should cook, or you should with the kids and do this. I'm like, what? Where are you getting this from? This is back in the 1900s. What they did, they felt like it was a woman's duty to cook and clean and take care of the kids. No, baby, this is a team effort. We not doing that. Hold on, gotta change my battery. Okay, I'm back. But of course I'm gonna cook because I gotta eat. I gotta eat and I'm trying to, I was trying to brisk I was trying to breastfeed, but I was so stressed and going through a lot. And he was putting me through a lot. My milk drained. My milk dried up. So, I really didn't get to breastfeed a lot. So, yeah, of course I was going to eat. That's for sure. I was going to cook. But it's not, I feel like men got it real. Some men got it real messed up and feel like it's a woman's duty to clean. It's a woman's duty to cook. It's a woman's duty to take care of the kids while they work. No, baby, it's a team effort. And I don't want no man like that to feel like, oops, sorry, to feel like it's my job to do that. And they just go to work and come home and just do nothing. I don't want no man like that. I mean, if y'all or if some women like that, then that's cool. That's just my preference and I'm not dealing with it. And that's just that on that. I need, mean, this is a team. We not, he not playing on the sidelines. I mean, he not sitting on the sidelines while I go do all the work and go, you know, run and catch a ball and, you know, do all the dirty work. No, that's not how that's gonna work. So yeah. So now I'm just here. I have an apartment, you know, by myself. I take care of my kids. Um, I'm supposed to start a job soon. I don't want to, but you know, my business is slow. If you don't know, I'm having a sale and that's just, I'm having a sale all, all, ugh, I can't even talk. For all the months of February, I'm having a sale. My lashes will be $5. $5. So make sure you click the link down below. It'll be at the top so you won't miss it. But yeah, I've been, my business has been slow. So I end up having to get a job. In the meantime, in the meantime, between time, before I start the job, I've been doing favor, Instacart, and stuff like that. So I've been gone because really I was emotionally drained. I started getting tired. Second, if you don't know, when I was pregnant, I had a sciatic nerve. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I said that. It's been so long ago, I feel like. <laughs> I had a sciatic nerve, so it started getting, it was getting bad, but it was tolerable. Tolerable, I think I used that in the right content. It was tolerable, tolerant, tolerant, tolerable. You know, get, you get what I'm saying. I could deal with it. I could deal with it. But then after time, it started getting bad. Like, I had a hard time getting out the bed. I had a hard time walking. Um, I had a hard time sleeping. I was tossing and turning. My body felt like it was on fire. My back was hurting so bad. Like, after a while, I went to the doctor because I'm like, what is going on? Like, I don't know where, why am I getting pain? <laughs> so bad like at that point i was like oh no i need to be following me some disability because i feel like i'm disabled at this point so i went to the doctor he told me it was my nerves i had a nerve problem because the kids stretched me out so much yeah they messed up my nerves 
So he gave me some medicine for it. Um, I was taking it for a day or two and I didn't like it because it made me so lazy. It made me so tired for the couple, for the first couple of days I sit, I stayed in the house and I slept. I slept. It made me so sleepy, so tired. It made me so weak, drained. So yeah, I only take it. I only take it when I need it. So I don't take it every day because if I take it every day, I'm not gonna make no money. I'ma just wanna sleep all day. If my glasses are dirty, I'm sorry. I'm about to take these off. Don't mind my don't mind my scars. Nothing like that. That's for my glasses. I'm done. Yeah, because it's a glare. This glare is killing me. But, um, yeah. So, put me on that medicine. I haven't been taking it for like a couple of days because I haven't been in pain, pain. I haven't been like in excruciating pain, like I can't sleep. Like, my left side be acting up sometimes. But, yeah, I just know how to deal with it now. I be limping sometimes. In the morning, I be limping. I limp sometime on my left side. When it be acting up, I limp. But yeah, that medicine, you know, I take it when I need it because it's a downer. It's really a downer. It makes me sleep good, but it's a downer. Like I can't take it every day. Not having three kids, how lazy it make, I, make me, I can't take it every day. But it works. It's time for me to go to bed. But it works. I cleaned up a little bit before I went to go get the kids. So the kids are in daycare. Ooh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so tired. The kids are in daycare. She's a home daycare. For the meantime, until they start Head Start. I'm trying to get them a Head Start. Um, that's been a roller coaster. Because they need so many documents. Yeah. I'm going to do a um, 12 month update to let y'all know what's going on with the kids. They need so many documents and so much stuff for them to even start. So, I sent all of that stuff in Thursday. So, hopefully they start like next week or something. Hopefully they start like next week or something. So, yeah. So, that's really it, y'all. My life is really crazy. My eyes are so watery it's because I'm tired. My life is so crazy. I'm not crying, y'all. I'm too thug for that. I'm a thug. I don't cry. Nah, I'm just playing. But no, nah, I'm really not crying though. My eyes are just watery. When I get tired, my eyes get water. But um, yeah, my life is just so crazy. Crazy. But you know what? One thing I can say, like the big man above he be looking out for me okay i ain't been having no jaw he been looking out for me you hear me he be looking out for me oh my eyes i need to go to sleep he been looking out for me okay because i ain't been having no job i be have sometimes i don't be having no money you know he be looking out for me though he be coming through when i don't think i, I don't got no money coming i saw some money be up in my my salon be coming through. Or oh, I go do favor and it's real busy and I get some money like that. My face is so red. So red, y'all. And then I'm on birth control too, y'all. I don't know what made me go get birth control. I'm about to get this taken out. I'm about to get this birth control taken out because this skin is breaking out. And I don't like, and this body is getting too big. I want to be small like I was when I was pregnant. Because right now, mm -mm. right now I'm getting too big. But that's it. I'm going to start making consistent videos, y'all. I'm going to try. Let me know down below. Hold on, I got to blow my nose. Hold on, because this right here is going to kill me. My nose, I have real bad allergies, y'all. So my nose be running all the time. My eyes be watering all the time. So let me blow my nose. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to try to make some consistent videos. And I'm going to try to do. Tell me how many videos y'all want a week. And I'll try to do it. 
how many videos y'all think a week will be good two three one you know stuff like that let me know down below how many videos a week would y'all like and please comment down below let me know you know talk to me i talk back i'm friendly you know these negative comments i'm um i respond sometimes if i feel like you try me but sometimes i'm not gonna respond because that negative stuff gone somewhere with that the negative comments i don't care like you're still watching me i don't care about the negative comments i'm not here to please you i'm really starting youtube because i want people to see what i was going through and if you had multiples you know maybe you can learn something from me or maybe i could teach you or maybe you could teach me something you know i started this because first of all i had triplets my first time ever getting pregnant i didn't need no help like that was a shocker for me. I'm still shocked. Like it still blow my mind that I I'm, I have three kids. Like I went from zero kids to three. That really what what killed me. That was the killer right there. So I'm like, oh let me let me make a YouTube, you know, to show people what I was going through and what you know. So I really didn't make this YouTube to please anybody. I just you know wanted people to see what I was going through yeah so now i'm back i was gonna do a nail vlog y'all see my nails uh oh my hands let me do these let me do this hand because this hand ain't, ain't operating right so i went to go get my nails done nail i was gonna do a nail vlog a nail vlog i was gonna do it but i don't know how y'all would like that would y'all like to see a nail vlog to see how I get my nails done. And yes, I can function with these long nails. Um, no, I do not scratch. <laughs> I just want to answer people's questions before they comment down below asking these crazy questions. Yes, I can wipe my butt. No, I do not scratch my kids. Yes, I can function with this. Um, I can pick up my kids. I can unbuckle stuff. Yeah, I can do all of that with these nails. So they don't bother them. They don't bother me. I don't have any dirt under them. Can you see them? I don't have any dirt under them or nothing like that. They're clean. Yeah. I need to turn this brightness down because this brightness is too high. So, yeah. So, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. And one thing before I go, I do repeat myself sometimes. It's not on purpose it's sometime a habit i have kids so i have to repeat myself i was even doing that from the beginning it's just a habit it's a habit me repeating myself so yeah i'm not trying to do it on purpose sometime i just don't realize i'm doing it or sometimes i forget what i was saying and i repeat it again because i don't remember if i said it or not so yeah please stop asking that why do i repeat myself why do i repeat myself yeah I forget okay it's I forget a lot I have a lot of things going on okay so I'm sorry it's not on purpose so yeah I'm about to go to sleep and I'll see y'all in the next video I'm tired I'll see y'all in the next video period and go ahead and you know, smash that subscribe button. Watch this, watch this video all through, please. If you made it to the end, go ahead and comment a yellow heart. If you made it to the end, go ahead and comment a yellow heart. Comment a yellow heart. And I love y'all. And I love y'all. And I love y'all. And I love y'all. And I and I and I love y'all. And I see y'all in the next video periods that's just that on that okay i like saying period periods okay yeah okay yeah i'm going to sleep i'm really rambling i'm sleepy rambling and i'll see y'all tomorrow bye y'all